Hello, hello, y'all. Welcome to It's a Wrap, okay? Where I help you achieve your finished look, all right? We are back, okay? It's still relaunch day, okay? We are in the house. It's a wrap all day, every day, helping you achieve your finished look. I'm so excited, y'all. So, in the first video earlier today, we did this makeup look, so definitely go check that video out if you want to see how I use my Insta Wrap glitters to get this beautiful look, okay? For this look, we have the gradient effect with the silver, blue, and black glitter, all right? So definitely check that video out. So today, in this part of the video, we're going to be talking about hair, hair products, wigs, all that good stuff okay so first off we're gonna have Jarrell here he's gonna be our live client okay but first I want to show you guys all of the uh, makeup products that I show in the previous video and you will be able to shop live okay so the first thing that's first now, this is my um, facial cleansing brush, okay? I have it in three colors, all right? So, we have it in orange, pink, and blue. And it's $4. I think I said that. And this is what it looks like. It's made out of a nice silicone, okay? And what this is going to do, you're going to hold it just like this, or you're going to hold it like this. And you're going to use whatever cleanser you're using to cleanse the skin, okay? And, of course, the inside of our hands don't have all of this going on, as y'all can see. So, this is going to really get in there and clean those pores out. So, this is my facial cleansing brush. Like I said, we have it in three colors. It's $4. It is available on the website. And another little trick as to why you need this, if you wear lace wigs and you glue your wigs down or you use like got to be glue, spritz, mousse, all the good stuff to have that wig nice and laid, you're going to need this to cleanse that lace, okay? So if you've been trying to clean the lace on your wigs, I'm telling you, get you some little shampoo go in on that lace i'm telling you it's going to get all of that good out of the lace okay so this is a facial cleanser brush but it'll get that lace cleanse too okay so that is one of the products all right um for the glitters now i showed you guys the um all of the glitters in the makeup video so definitely go back and watch that video i told you guys about the thick glitter collection okay so these are the glitters from the thick glitter collection that will not be restocked okay um as of now they will not be restocked these were a part of the limited edition line i have one purple left two of the greens and one of the blue okay so after these are gone they are gone until further notice okay so if you would like these you can put in the comments now this one is called be mine so you can type it's mine be mine in the comments two of you can type it's mine pretty clover and one person can type it's mine oceans deep okay and these are amazing i will definitely um if i can get them from um, my supplier again i will definitely bring them back but as of now those are being phased out okay so the ones that you guys can find on the website right now that are fully stocked fully loaded okay let me show you guys those and all of these are $5, okay? So we have confetti, okay? And all of these you can use in your makeup, 
on your eyelids, on your lips. You can put them in your hair. You can put them in your nails. However you like to use them, okay? So this is confetti, all right? Then we have bubbles. And this is pretty champagne color. Bubbles, all right? Let me turn this on to see if you guys can see see it a little better so this is bubbles then we have snow day this beautiful iridescent white snow day and if you like any of these go ahead and comment it's mine and the name of the glitter in the comments this is rain drops it's a hollow glitter y'all can see that super cute and it's raindrops next we have carrots carrots and it's a gold hollow then we have a true love okay we all need some true love <laughs> this is red true love then we have sparks which is silver all right, then we have a royal tea, royal tea, which is gold, all right? Then we have February, and you can guess when this was released. February. <laughs> and we have holiday cheer. This was released around Christmas time, all right? So all of these have um, five milliliters, all right? And they are $5. In my fine collection, I have 20 colors. So we have black, and the name is on the back, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna show you the color. So we have black. And I have some of this on today. We have black. We have purple. And if you want any of these, just type It's Mine Fine Black. It's Mine Fine Purple. This will be It's Mine Fine Coral. All right, and this one is one of my favorites. And I have done looks with all of these. This one is It's Mine Fine Turquoise. So pretty. Oh, this one is green. Oh, look how rich the color is. It's just, this one is royal blue. I have some of this on today. Royal blue. This one is silver. I have some of this on. Look how it's just, woo! This one is burgundy, okay? Beautiful. This one is apple green. Super cute. And this one is lavender, okay? Awesome. So this are the first 10, all right? We got 10 of them. So I use that apple green and this yellow in a look for Easter. Hey, y'all. As y'all come on, say hello so I can see you. To be. <laughs> so this is yellow. This one is pink. It's a nice pretty pink too. Nice soft pink. This one is blue. I have some of this on as well in between the silver and the royal. This one is gold, okay? And it's serving, serving. This one is sage, okay? And this is another pretty green. And this, this green is giving me St. Patrick's Day green. This is my fuchsia, and ooh, it's 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 doing what I needed to do in this light. And this one is red. Hey, grandma. Hey, auntie. 
This is red, all right? This one is mauve. And I love, like, mauve color lipsticks. Y'all know I love that mauve moment lipstick. So this one is mauve. Hey, John, I see you on here. <laughs> this one is aqua. It's another blue. And last but not least, we have white here, which is this pretty fine white, okay? So all of those are on the site, all right? Now um, we can get Jarell to come on in. Come on in, Jarell. Special guest. <laughs> right. Say hello to Jarrell. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? What's going on? All right, Good I'm going to uh... put my It's a Wrap cape on them. Oh, yeah. Got the cape. Say hey to everybody. Hey, what's going on? Good to see everybody watching. So I'm going to tank fold this down. Yeah, over. a little bit. So y'all can see Jarrell. There he go. <laughs> there he go. All right. So Jarrell, um, some of the things that he has on his head right now, he has on a cap that has satin on the inside. Great, great habits. And he also has on a satin do-rag. And he got it on here so tight. <laughs> Okay, now this is Jarrell's hair, y'all. Woo, look at all this hair. <laughs> so I have been taking care of his hair um, since the pandemic. Um, mostly we have been at home and he has been living by the Isarat products. And look how just amazing his hair is. So we're going to do um, a little demo on him while we talk about the Isarap hair products. And I'm just talking, y'all can't even see me. So um, his hair is amazing. We did um, a little trim a couple of days ago. So, and his students at school, they love his hair when he go to school. <laughs> Who they say you look like? Uh, like Trinidad James. <laughs> they say he look like Tr Trinidad James. I can't even get the man's name out. They say he look like uh, Trinidad James. Uh, no, I'm not going to uh, get locks back. I'm going to just leave it like that. Who is that? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. He about to have this. With these Instagram products, this hair about to be down his back. We about to be, we about to have half a day is over here. So, um, I love his hair. Oh, I just love it. I love doing his hair. So, um, if you take care of your hair, um, you don't want to do your hair while you're rushing, okay? You want to take, take your time, okay? You want to do your hair with love, okay? Love and patience is the key when, when oh. working with your hair, okay? And love and patience get grows the hair, as y'all can see, okay? So, with the It's a Wrap, let me, um, oh, I wish I had this on a remote or somewhere. I can just go up and down. <laughs> let me see. There we go. Okay, yeah, so y'all can see both of us. Okay, you might need to come back some. Yes. Okay. So with my product line, I have 10 products in my line. Okay. And I have a couple of shampoos, a couple of conditioners, a lot of great things. So we're going to go through those and we're going to talk about those and talk about um, when you should use them. And, um, you know, if, if you are a good candidate to use them and a lot of things like that. So for Jarrell, what shampoo do you use all the time? The, the stimulating. The stimulate. Okay. So Jarrell, he likes to use the um, stimulating therapeutic shampoo. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Okay. Now, um, in this shampoo, it is blue and it's going to give you a tingling sensation. Now, a great time to use this shampoo is after a sew-in, after braids. Anytime you have that buildup of sebum on your scalp, which if you don't know, after you take your braids out, when you have that little knot or like that little buildup, 
at the roots. That is sebum, which is the natural oil that your scalp produces. It is um, from you probably not t tying your hair up, rolling around in the bed or whatever. All of that kind of stuff gets locked up at the roots of those braids. Any um, product debris, if you're just, you know, oiling your scalp every other day, mm -hmm. all of that builds up at the scalp, okay? So if you notice after a long protective style that you have gooka mucka and stuff <laughs> just all in your scalp, this is what you need, okay? So this product is $11, and it's going to really get in there and break that up, okay? So, um, a lot of shampoos that um, are on the market right now, if you really want to remove a lot of buildup, you're probably going to have to go in with a couple of shampoos. This right here, after the first shampoo, most of that is going to be gone, okay? So, it's going to really get in there. It does have a great minty smell. You like how it smells? Mm -hmm. It has a minty smell. It's going to... Um, have your scalp like tingling somebody said that it feels like um somebody's like blowing on their scalp or yeah, like it's a cool, real cold yeah like, like a, a cool cold wind on your scalp yeah. so another great thing about that stimulating effect it's going to help with the growth okay anything that's stimulating the scalp is just getting the scalp ready for growth all right so that is what Jarrell likes I also have another shampoo. This is called the Tangle Erasing Shampoo. Now, I personally like to use this one because my hair is text lax, meaning I have some like different textures in my hair. And typically, if you are stretching your relaxers or you are transitioning from like relaxed to natural or from relaxed to text lax, those relaxed ends can cause the hair to tangle a lot. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you just go right in and wet your hair without detangling, you might get matting and all that kind of stuff. So with this shampoo, it's going to help you detangle your hair while you're shampooing it. So I love this shampoo. And I'll let y'all get a little, little close-up look. So this is the Tangle Erasing Shampoo, okay? Which one you want me to use on you today? Mm, which one you think is best for today? Your scalp is pretty clean since I uh, washed it a couple of days ago. So it's up to you if you want to feel the tingling and all that. We could use the stimulator. Can people with locks use it too? Yeah. Yes. It's for all hair types, um, all textures. It's for everybody. Good question. Keep keep the questions coming. So I'm gonna put these gloves on. And one thing that I that I like to do, um, the shampoo is made for the scalp. Okay. Um, shampoo is not really made to be all over your head. You know, um, y'all know how we like to do how how the folks wash their hair on TV. They just have the shampoo and be doing all that you don't really need to do all that the shampoo mm -hmm. is made to clean the scalp okay mm -hmm. and the conditioner that's what's made to give the rest of the hair the nutrients that it needs so what i like to do especially when i'm working with somebody that had that long protective style i don't know how you can see that i'm looking like can't how you see what them people saying uh, uh. <laughs> so after a long protective style, what I like to do is part the hair and apply the conditioner to the scalp, okay? So, um, that's what I like to do. Damp, damp the hair. You mean the shampoo? shampoo. Huh? What'd I say? You said conditioner. Oh, the shampoo, y'all. So, I have me some water here in a spray bottle. And I'm just going to wet his hair. And I'm going to apply the shampoo directly to the scalp, okay? Um, if I was um, doing somebody, somebody else's hair, I like to keep my shampoos in an applicator bottle 
so that I can go right in at the scalp, okay? Now, putting this right at the scalp, it's going to target and do exactly what you want it to do. It's going to clean exactly what you want it to clean. And if you are doing your hair at home, a lot of times you can't really see what you are doing. So you may try to wash your hair in the shower, you know, wet all your hair, put the product in your hair. And you get out of the shower and you're ready to style your hair. And you still got buildup on your scalp. So going in first and applying the shampoo to your scalp is going to really help you target those areas. And if your scalp is um, like really dry or um, if you have like flakes on your scalp, anything like that, you really want to make sure that you go in and apply that shampoo right in the areas where you need it so that you can really get all of that out of there. Had to get it all out of there, y'all. You can't walk around with all that stuff on your scalp. Having all that stuff built up on your scalp, your scalp cannot breathe and therefore your scalp, um, the hair growth will be stunted, okay? Because the pores will be clogged up. So we want to get all of that stuff out of there so that the hair can grow and thrive. So I'm just going through and putting this all in here. If y'all have any questions, definitely ask. How is feeling, Jarrell? I feel good. Feel good. Nice and cool when it comes on. And it smells great. Another one of the products that's going to be on the site today is my um, shampoo brush. Now, Jarrell, he go crazy over the shampoo brush. <laughs> when I used to uh, cut his hair, I would use the shampoo brush on him and he just say it feels amazing so um definitely grab one of the shampoo brushes i want to show you what it looks like in just a second so this is um the shampoo brush it is three dollars on the site hey, hey. and i have them in pink purple and um black of course Hello, hello, hey, hey. Sorry for, oh, you fine. <laughs> I just can barely see up there. So with this shampoo brush, how does that feel? You see, I see his eyes close. <laughs> how does that feel? Yeah, that's right. Talk loud so the folks can hear you now. <laughs> it feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> he about to be on the floor over here, y'all. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, it just like scratches your scalp softly, so. Yes, and it's also um, distributing that shampoo in the scalp. And it's massaging the scalp, all of that. And what does um, massaging the scalp do? It helps the hair grow. So if y'all want some luscious locks like this, I'm, I'm showing y'all what to do, okay? And I'm just taking this through here. And he said it feels amazing. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you like you about to be asleep or something in the yes. night? Yes. And it's easy to fall asleep on something like this. So these are some of the things that I was talking about that when you take care of your hair, you want to have a mindset of love and appreciation. You want to take your time and just comb through. You don't want to rush. You don't want to do your hair on the day where you got somewhere to go and all that. You want to really take some time to just give your hair the love and care that it needs. 
so this is worked in really good i'm also going to use this when the conditioner is in there so he is going to go um add some more water mm -hmm. and now i can feel the tingling out of this work in, you feel so, the tingling out yeah. so after combing it in and stimulating his scalp he said he feels that tingling so he's going to go um, add more water and go in at the scalp and lather it up and rinse it out and um you can also do another shampoo if you want to um but your hair is pretty clean since we just did it recently but you can um just rinse this out and come back and we'll move on with the conditioners with okay. the conditioner step all right all right let me take this cape off of you right here yeah so while he's rinsing this out, we're going to keep going with the products. Ooh, all right, I'll be right back, y'all. All right. So we talked about the two shampoos, all right? The um, stimulating therapeutic shampoo and the tangle erasing shampoo. Both of those are $11, all right? Next, we have, let's talk about the mousse and the spritz okay so if you are a wig wearer which i have wigs all around here that i'm gonna try on for y'all so these are two things that are going to come in handy with your wigs for um especially if you're wearing lace wigs okay so this mousse you're going to put this on to lay those baby hairs and you're going to use this spritz to lock it into place all right now this spritz is a light spritz meaning it's not going to have your hair all hard and crunchy y'all know how how them spritz from back in the day have you had where it just don't move don't go nowhere you ain't blowing in the wind ain't doing nothing okay so this is it's going to give you a hole but it's going to be a natural hole okay it's going to hold it in place but if you you know want to do a little sh shake or something it's going to allow you to do that okay and this mousse i like to use this um when doing something as simple as a roller set okay this mousse is great for and if you are wearing a wig and you want like your curls to pop you can use it for that anything that you like to use um mousse for for your wraps and all that kind of stuff this mousse is going to be great for that and of course for laying the baby hairs laying your wigs down all that kind of stuff yeah yeah it's not the gorilla glue spritz okay we ain't um we ain't you know doing all that <laughs> so the spritz is eleven dollars and the mousse is twelve dollars all right next we have the moisturizing leave-in conditioner now i like to use this on my real hair as well as my wigs it's a great detangler okay and i told you guys like with my hair dealing with the different textures having a great detangler is a blessing and it's a moisturizing leave-in conditioner meaning you don't have to put it in and wash it out okay you can put this in and leave it in i like to wear a lot of curly units so i can put this in my units make it curl up real nice have you know the nice little juicy curls popping and everything and i can go okay so this one is eleven dollars all right now um as i keep saying i got a lot of textures going on in my hair y'all so um i am currently text lax meaning that i'm not uh, fully relaxed like my hair is not bone straight but I'm not natural, you know, um, with the full, you know, God-given motherland curls popping, okay? So I'm in between that. I use um, relaxer to relax my hair texture, but I remove it before my hair gets, you know, fully relaxed, okay? Now, if you have had a relaxer, okay, you know something that can happen to the scalp, all right? If you leave it on too long or maybe you are your scalp is a little sensitive you can get something called chemical burns okay 
and it's basically when the skin is abrased on your scalp okay you get a little irritation it's kind of like a little um like a scratch or a, a scar it can um, get a scab over on your scalp so to help with that we have the soothing scalp care okay this one is also eleven dollars so maybe you don't um get relaxers maybe you get your hair colored um colors um anything like that whether it is a permanent color even a deposited color can irritate the scalp a little bit so this can come in handy for you if um that's kind of like your routine also with those protective styles where the scalp can become itchy under that weave you know you get to doing the little pat and motion and stuff trying to get the itching out of there this will be great for you as well okay um with the soothing scalp care whatever is going on with your scalp it's going to soothe it out okay so it has kind of like a watery oil consistency and it's going to really get in there and calm that scalp down whatever kind of irritation itching um burning anything you have going on with that scalp it's gonna knock it out okay it's gonna get it up out of there all right so this one is eleven dollars all right now um these two products here um the healing ointment and the polishing mint oil both of these are eleven dollars the healing ointment is made for the body okay it is going to soothe out the skin all right if you have like rough heels rough knees rough elbows rough knuckles whatever you got going on it's gonna help you know heal that skin and smooth it out okay the polishing mink oil this one is mainly for the scalp and the hair okay but i have heard people using them interchangeably okay i have heard um, people saying that their edges have been growing back using the polishing mink oil as well as using the healing ointment on their scalp okay so um, it really depends on um the main purpose that you want to accomplish with the product for which one that i would recommend that you get okay now i have heard a lot of people um with my previous lunch that said this has gotten the edges together okay so um definitely if that's something that you're interested in this will be a great product for you to polish and mint oil but you can also put it on your body you know if you are like an oil kind of person i know i'm more of like an oil person instead of like a lotion person so um i prefer putting oils on my skin and stuff and in the healing ointment um some of the differences in the ingredients the healing ointment has shea butter which is you know geared toward the body we have um, the vitamin e we have olive vera things like that um that's going to be great for the body and in the polishing neem oil for the hair we have the argan oil um vitamin e things like that that's going to be good for the hair okay so this is the healing ointment for the body and the polishing me oil for the hair all right when jarell comes back we're going to get into um the the conditioners i have three i showed you the moisturizing leave-in conditioner so the other two conditioners, we have the enriching protein conditioner and the hydrating deep conditioner, okay? So understanding the hair, y'all, we have protein and we have moisture. Your hair has to have a nice balance, okay? And we call it the moisture protein balance, all right? So if your hair is feeling... um stringy like when you pull it it's just no end it's not bouncing back you need some protein okay if you pull your hair and it just snap like a, a piece of uncooked spaghetti it just snap 
you need some moisture okay so the head the, the moisture protein balance or the protein moisture balance the hair has to have like a nice elasticity to it okay so depending on what your hair feels like at the moment you should be able to tell what your hair needs okay so being relaxed i feel like my hair is more on the drier side so i go to the hydrating deep conditioner more often okay um sometimes putting a lot of moisture in my hair it, if it starts feeling like kind of squishy or um like too soft i'll go in with some protein all right another great use for this protein um conditioner yes um my aunt she has locks she uh just asked that earlier yes you can use these products for um lock hair unlock hair uh relax hair natural hair all all inefficiencies okay can use these products it's for um for all hair types all hair textures all right that's a good question so um with this um protein conditioner it's also great right before uh, chemical processes so if you're about to go in um, for a relaxer or color treatment and your hair has been feeling a little on the weaker side you don't want to you know get that chemical put on your hair and your hair already feeling like it's not gonna make it okay so going in with um the protein conditioner is just going to give your hair that boost of protein so that it can withstand that chemical process all right if you um know anything about chemical processes as far as relaxers hair colors and all that what it does is like break the bonds of your hair so going in with a boost of protein is going to kind of help the hair be a little stronger so that it can handle that chemical process all right so um if you are natural um that means that you don't have any any chemicals no relaxers no color none of that okay if you are you know quote unquote natural meaning you don't have a relaxer but you have had permanent color then technically you are not natural okay so um that's one of the things that a lot of people kind of get confused about when you are um, buying products for um chemically processed hair a lot of people that have color on their hair they feel like um that means you know relaxer or whatever so definitely keep an eye out for um a lot of the things that you are, are buying if your hair has color on it um or relaxer or, or any, anything like that you want to make sure um that you are using products that are okay to use on, on your hair you don't want to go anything you don't want to yeah you don't want <laughs> you don't want to go in with anything on your hair that's going to be very stripping and very taxing on your hair especially when you have a relaxer and you have color treated hair all right so Jarrell is back and um he is looking <laughs> a bit different <laughs> So as you can see, even with um, pressing his hair out so that uh, he can wear in a ponytail and with me braiding it and all of that, when he washes it, his hair still bounces back. It still goes back into um, an afro. So um, a lot of people feel like heat damages the hair and heat doesn't damage the hair. It's all about you know how much of it you're using and how you are using okay she said oh gee <laughs> oh, did you already answer Ken's question about yeah the locks? i told her my aunt hattie asked the same question we got um all the lots the <laughs> lot the girls in the house right. i know so um he washed it and now we're gonna go in with the conditioner yeah if you if you like a shampoo that really really lather up then just do like a second wash if you really want it to lather up like real real big but i still feel like I, I only did the one rinse this time and i still feel like the one um 
not the warm, but I still feel like the stimulation. You know, like my scalp feels real cool. Like it feel like it's being activated. That's yeah, the word. activated. Yeah, activated. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I hope they could hear you. But he basically said that he just rent, rinsed that out. He didn't do a second um, wash. So if you are coming from a long protective style, I'm gonna say what? I'm trying to make sure I picked up the right product. Yeah, that's the hydrating deep. But um, if you are coming from like a um a sew-in or box braids, anything like that, you definitely want to do um two washes because in that first wash. It's going to re remove majority of the buildup. And then in that second wash, that's when you will really get that lather. And you still want to make sure that you're focusing on the scalp, okay? When you rinse it out, that product is going to go down the rest of the strands of your hair. And it's going to get the rest of your hair clean, all right? So you don't have to, you know, saturate your hair in shampoo the same way you would with conditioner all right so uh hold your head down so i like to apply um, my conditioner i like to part the hair and do it in sections and do all of that kind of stuff to really make sure that it's in there good you definitely want to apply your conditioners and comb it through to make sure that everything is um getting distributed I'm going to use the shampoo brush on Jarrell because I know he likes it. Oh, your head down some more. So I'm just going to put this all in his hair. And as you work it in, you can always add more. So we're going to start in the back here. I'm going to use the shampoo brush that he's in love with. And I'm just gonna start in the back here. And I'm just going to distribute this in, okay? And this is another step of stimulating the scalp, getting the hair to grow. So of course, if you guys, um, since we have some people on here with locks, of course you won't be able to just to use the shampoo brush to just you know go in and comb through your hair um like this but um depending on how long you let your hair grow out before you um get a retwist you may be able to um just get at those roots a little bit and use it how this feel with the conditioner mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's doing what it needs to do for <laughs> yeah. you so he knows that um when he is doing his hair to keep his hair detangled you want to keep your hair detangled at every step when you are shampooing your hair you want to try to keep your hair going in one direction you don't want to have your hair just scrubbing it just scrubbing it all up against your head and stuff you got to keep that hair going in one direction you don't want the hair to tangle up. So I'm just parting through with my hands. And he did a really great job keeping his hair detangled. So I'm just parting through with my hands, putting more of this conditioner in here. And I'm just distributing it through with the shampoo brush here. Getting it nice in there making sure to get his ends really good with the conditioner because we just did a trim not too long ago yeah, make sure we get those <laughs> yes after your trim you want to make sure you get those ends good with the conditioner because it's going to help seal them back up oh yeah that's help seal them in Good. Mm -hmm. If y'all have any questions, definitely ask them. It's like I want to be looking at the screen, but like I have to close my eyes. It just feels <laughs> it just just feel like, that good. Yeah. Mm. 
just feel that good. Get them ends real good. Who did say, oh, Kenya lad was laughing? <laughs> As you can see, we got that conditioner work in there. Now, um, because it's a hydrating deep conditioner, you can definitely put this on, work it in, and rinse it out. But I recommend so that you can get get that the benefits of the deep. You want to leave it on for about 30 minutes. You can um, put a shower cap on it. What I like to recommend, especially for people doing their hair at home, to wash your hair, put the conditioner in, put your shower cap on, and then go ahead and finish your shower. And what that is going to do, while you're in the shower with that steam and everything, it's going to help, you know, heat up everything. So for one, your scalp is going to provide heat. So covering it with the shower cap, that heat is going to be circulating inside of the shower cap and the steam from the shower. It's going to help that um, the deep conditioner penetrate into um, the hair strands, okay? And that's what we want our deep conditioners to do. We don't want to just put it on there and it don't do nothing, you know? We want it to really get into the strands and provide moisture into the strands. All righty. Feel like you good. Okay. All right, so now he is going to go rinse. Well, you can um hang out for a little while, I guess. All right, you leave it there for a minute? Yeah. Cool, cool. So what you about to try on some wigs? Yes, let's <laughs> try on some wigs, y'all. Y'all excited? We gonna try on some wigs while this marinating and Jarrell scalp and everything got the hair all nice and supple and stuff. Look at his, look at his ponytail, y'all. <laughs> Here. Who you are, where you watching from? We about to get these wigs popping. Gonna take these gloves off. Let me get you a. Um, you got a shower cap. Uh -huh. All right. So show them your hair and stuff, Jarrell. Why don't I get you the shower cap? All right. Yeah. Earlier in the week, well, on, what was that, Sunday or Monday or something? No, that had to be about Tuesday or Wednesday. Had to be Tuesday. Paris did, like, a flat iron and everything, and that was really nice, but just washed it, so we back, back to the normal, you know what I'm saying? But I just washed it with the stimulating uh, shampoo. I love the way that feels, and then she just put the hydrating deep conditioner I ain't gonna lie, I had to stop because uh, she was running out because I kept trying to use it all the time because it, it always works really well for me. So she just put that in here and, uh, you know, this this how my hair looking right now until I rinse out the conditioner or whatever. I feel like I'm, like, hunched down because I'm trying to be, like, in the, <laughs> in the screen, like, bobbing and weaving and stuff. Okay. Um. But, yeah. We about to go bootleg here. Oh no. Yeah. You can find. Uh uh. It's some upstairs. But well, I could have went and grabbed one. It's fine, baby. You about to do me like this now. It's fine. If y'all at home and y'all don't have a shower cap, here go a little a little secret. Get you a little bag. Put it on there. Twist it, and then tuck it under there. Ooh. And there you go. Now you can go upstairs and get a shower cap. They in my, my room. All right.
right, y'all. So we about to get into some wigs, okay? So let me move the rail chair out of the way. So on the site right now, we have uh, several wigs already on the site, all right? Um, I have most of those wigs here and some other wigs that I'm going to show you. And some of them, the price is going to be cut drastically, okay? For some of these, the price is going to be cut in half. What you said, don't put a plastic bag on him. <laughs> He about to go get the shower cap, but um, sometimes you don't always have a plastic bag, and I'm always about, you know, making things easier. Um, everybody is not um, at home, you know, the utmost license, trained and stuff. People just want to do their stuff at home, wash their hair at home and stuff. That's why, why we're here, you know, bringing all these products so that y'all can have professional products at home, all right? So let's get in. Now this wig right here, this baby is not for sale, okay? I literally have all my wigs out here for sale, but this one, I just can't let y'all have this one, okay? I got to keep something for myself, okay? So I'm about to take this one off. You found it? Yeah. All right. All right, uh, get this off me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get this off me, please. You so silly. You got me looking like a bottle of dish detergent or something <laughs> at the self-checkout. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so we about to get them. We got to get them right, Grandma, okay? All right, there you go. <laughs> looking for a barcode. <laughs> <laughs> you so silly. Okay, you can get up. You can get up, baby. Oh, all right, all right. You going to participate with the wigs. I'm gonna do that. I don't know. You can say what they look like. Oh, all right, all right. I need to turn this light down. Yeah, it like turned up. Real, yeah, when you uh, when hit it. Oh, hey, y'all. I see y'all coming in here. Say hey. Hey, Juliana. She said, don't put a plastic bag on it. <laughs> y'all so funny. I love it. Okay. Yeah, we just gotta ride with it. Okay, I tanked the light off. Hopefully y'all can see me. Let's get these wigs popping, okay? Oh, that's you said that was Juliana that came in, or? Huh? I see her face up there. Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, Juliana. Make sure y'all check her out. Her photography. It is, I hope I don't say it wrong, but is it through her lens? Put your name in the chat. So, woo! Took her off, y'all. Okay. So um so what I have on, I have my hair um in two ponytails and two braids, and I have the braids crisscross in the back. So you don't have to, you know, get the, the prison cornrows or whatever. You don't have to do that in order to wear a wig. You can almost put your hair in a ponytail and throw a wig on okay so oh i don't know which one to start first now mind you these wigs have been in a bag okay in a bag um they haven't been um curled and all of that so just keep that in mind okay now this first one is yvonne okay on the website, she's listed for 300, but today she is going for 150. Okay. 150. Now Yvonne, um, most of her is made with um some Maven Brazilian hair. The closure part came from um AliExpress, and it is um it was originally a U part wig but I added a closure to it to make it a full wig, okay? Now, this closure is a silk, a silk top closure, trying to get my words, <laughs> a silk top closure. So, um, as you can see, it has like a little piece of fabric there. So, I'm just about to throw her on. And we're about to see what she's looking like. We're about to see what she's been doing. Why she been sitting in that bag? 
Let me see what she been doing while she been sitting in the bag, y'all. She you been bring it up a little bit. She been marinating in the bag. Now I let me just tell y'all, I have a big head, okay? So Yvonne, she she ain't as big as I need her to be in this moment. <laughs> She ain't as big as I need her to be. But this is the gist of what Yvonne looks like. As you can see, she talking a little bit, you know. She was doing something in the bag, okay. <laughs> so, of course, you can wash it. Um, wash it, curl it, press it, whatever you want to do to it. Um, she was colored like this, okay. So, um, she came, the hair came black, I colored it, and then I made it into a wig, all right? So, this is your bun, honey. She is 150 today, okay? And I'm about to, ooh, comb me earring. These some beautiful earrings, too. Okay. So, this is your bun, y'all. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about your bun in the comments, okay? Like I said, she's been in the bag, folded. So, of course, you know, if you was about to go out, you would take your little hot comb and get the roots together and all that. But to have been sitting in the bag for a minute, she looks good, okay? I had to go find her, y'all. She was um in a bag. I had to go find her. All right, so that is Yvonne. This is the inside. This one was hand-sewn, okay? Hand-sewn. Craftsmanship. <laughs> the craftsmanship. All right. <laughs> so that's Yvonne, y'all. Next we have Carol. Okay. Carol is listed for uh, three eighty, but today she's going to be two hundred. Carol was made with Peruvian natural straight hair. Okay. So Peruvian hair is going to be a little costly because it's thicker want some hair that's nice and thick and full that Peruvian is where it is at put Carol on yes Carol okay come through Carol come through Carol okay Carol got some highlights What you think about Carol? Okay. Carol looking cute, yeah, y'all. Nice. These wigs been um I haven't worn any of these wigs in ages, y'all. But it's time for them to go, okay? Y'all need to be slaying in these wigs. Cause I need to make some new, some whole new wigs. So it's no need of me keeping all these. So they listed for sale, okay? Listed for sale. So that's cute. <laughs> okay, not the cute, the cute, cute. You know, you say it twice and add a little bit more um to it. <laughs> so this is Carol. She is popping, y'all. Okay. Putting these wigs on, remind, reminding me, taking me back. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's Carol. She does have a lace uh, closure as well. And I currently have have it in the middle part, but you can part it anywhere on this lace. So if you wanted to do a side part, you could. It's a fronter. And that's Carol. Okay, that's not a fronter. That's a closure. Right? Oh, it's a closure? But you said you could part it anywhere. You're supposed to know this stuff. Uh, there's closures you can part in multiple places. A closure? Okay. See? Somebody watching might not know this. So thank you, Jarrell. I got a piece of hair. Okay. So, a closure. What's the name of her? This is Shirley, okay? The closure is, it just closed up a certain area, okay? The frontal is going to cover the whole hairline, all right? So, this is a closure. Now, Shirley is listed for $240. Today, she's going to be $120. So, that's 50% off of miss shirley now i told y'all i got a big head so we about to see what shirley about to do on my big head 
Now, I told y'all this is a closure, but I do have the part on the side. So I could part it in the middle. Now, surely it's made um, with the Maven Deep Wave Burgundy hair. So, up a little bit. There you go. Um, thank you for getting me together, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, to make it curl up, I'm going to take some of this, um, the moisturizing leave-in conditioner. Just give it a nice little spray, spray, you know. Huh? You say what? No, I'm saying if you don't do like the water. Um, you can use water if you want to, or you can use like a leave-in conditioner. It really, it really depends. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's curling up a little bit. Definitely, I would recommend um to wet it, uh, condition it, all of that. That's really going to make the curls come back. The more you brush it, it's just going to kind of loosen up. As you can see, the front is already loosening up. And this will be great, like a great bob. Yeah, sure. I'm liking that. Mm -hmm. This is Shirley, y'all. Shirley. Okay, Shirley. What you say? You don't know nobody named Shirley that are wear some red hair? There's some shirts out there though that wear some red hair now. <laughs> this next one is called um, Jasmine. It's listed for $360 and it's going for $120. Alright. So um, it's a show enough discount. Alright. Now this Jasmine um, the color on this is what I call like a comic book uh, red and it has it's red at the bottom and it's red like um up and through here y'all know how in the comic books they um the hair color is um oh, i wish i could had a picture to show y'all this one has a has a closure and um I haven't worn this one in ages. I think the last time I wore this, it was, I was teaching like a summer camp or something. <laughs> and that was forever ago. So it is cut into a bob. Okay. And it, it has a closure on it. Um, I have the part on the side of the closure. And it's been in a bag for forever. Um, I will wash it, condition it, and put it in the bag. Until the next time. So this is Jasmine. Okay. Okay, you got to lean like this to the side. <laughs> okay. So um, she is 120 today. And next we have Finer, okay? Finer, um, she wasn't going to be listed, but I just said, why not? I know y'all like this wig, and I wear this wig all the time. So let's let's list her, okay? So Finer um is 520, okay? And today she's um being listed for 400 now this is um made with the maven the maven um indian natural straight that's why it costs so much and i colored it okay so you paying for um the quality of hair and the service that was done on the hair all right pop it on And let me come up. Y'all gonna be my mirror for today. Oh, yeah. So we can get this lace on. That's clean. Now, these wigs that I'm putting on, I'm not laying the lace, laying the baby hair, none of that. So, y'all, so if y'all are the type of person that just throw your wigs on and go, as you can see, you can do that with these wigs. You don't have to lay the baby hair. You don't have to 
glue the lace down. You don't have to do any of those things, okay? All you need is a good old elastic band and you are good to go. I personally like to put my wigs on and take them off in the same day. So you probably won't find me gluing a wig down, okay? Because I need to not have anything on my head at nighttime. So this is finer, okay? Yeah. She is 400, okay? As you That's can see, nice. she is worth every penny, okay? She is worth the 520, okay? But since it's lunch day, we're going to lower the prices. So everybody can slay today because it's lunch day. All right. So we can call her finer because that's what she's serving. Finerness. Okay. So um, let's go on to April. Okay. Um, yeah, you can rinse it up. Now April and all of my wigs are named after a person after um like a moment or something in my life or something so all of the names have um like a sentimental you know value to me so this is april april is listed at uh 390 but today she's gonna be 200 okay now this is the Maven Yaki straight, okay? And this is that wig where you want to wear your real hair out. You want to have that kind of, you know, relaxed hair look, but you don't want to wear your real relaxed hair out. So this is what April is going to do for you, okay? As you can see, this look like it's my hair, okay? my hair basically look like this after i relax if i relax my hair and blow it out it'll look like this okay so that's what april is serving okay and april she is a frontal okay so with the frontals you can part it and do whatever you want to do with it, honey. Okay, you can have your little half up, half down. Look at that. Mm. I did that, y'all. So this is April. Okay. I love her. But she's listed. Okay. <laughs> so if you um like you a nice middle part, you can part her in the middle. Get you a, um, you know, the little hot comb, lay her down, and you got the middle part, okay? But I'm a side part, girl. So that's why she was already in the side part. Okay, Z5, yes, for the finer. So this is April, y'all. Woo! The next one is called Blondie. Blondie is... 500 but she is um going down to 370 let me pop her on now blondie is um indian 613 with a dark root And where is the part on this? Oh, it's on the other side. I don't know why I put the part over there, y'all. So, look at her. She just... Ooh, ooh. Let me turn this light on. Yes. Okay. So, this is Blondie. She is a dark root 613. This is a frontal as well. So y'all can see the lace. So you can part it in here if you want to. You can do a middle part. See the lace. 
you can do a deep side part it's lace over the whole front all right of course um you can go in and pluck your parts i typically don't pluck my parts because typically when i make a wig it will be available for purchase if i make it for like a youtube video or for a wig class it will be available for purchase all right so this is blondie blondie um on my head the elastic band is not um, really that tight so here if i pull that elastic band the lace gets a little tighter but look how good she looks she just laying y'all so i take these little baby hairs and do a little swoop de doop she'll be popping so blondie is 370 y'all all right Woo! it feels so good to take a wig off if y'all ever ever worn a wig Woo! just take it off and your, your head just feels so free okay next we have um and this light just like just turn up okay calm down light okay next we have um these wigs called scarlet I have it in brown and I have it in black. So we're going to do um, the black one first. Now, um, this Maven hair is not virgin. This is when we had the human hair line. And this one is capless. So I made um, all of these myself. So this is capless. All right. So most of the wigs that you buy from the beauty supply store, most of those are capless, all right? So if you sweat a lot in your head, um, anything like that, capless will be a good option for you. Now this is, what I said, Scarlet. She is 240 and she's been um dropped to 120 so she is one of those 50 percent babies now um this hair is is body wave of course um like i told you i washed them condition them and then put them back in the bag so um she has been in the bag and this is how she looks okay you might like to wear her like this or um, you can press her out, cut her into a nice little bob. You can even cut her into a short, cute little, cute little number, okay? So that'd be cute too. But um, she has a closure on, and I just have the part on the side. So even with the closures, you can lay the baby hair if you want to. If not, you can just put it on and go okay got a nice little little swoop over here and this is scarlet and black i never really wore the black one um i do have some pictures with the scarlet brown on so let me show you guys that one and the, the scarlet brown was the same price it was 240 and it's going down to 120. And the color on this one is the number four. This was one of my favorites. Washed and it don't look like how I wore. I used I used to wear it um, with a nice little like kind of bump and everything too. I'm gonna have to show you guys some pictures. But I bumped her out and combed everything to the back and then pushed it to the front. Ooh, she was talking, y'all. But this is a number four. This is really pretty. And this is Scarlet Brown. Look at her, y'all. Okay. 
when I put uh, wigs on that look this color, I feel like I look like my mama. <laughs> yes. Is that Pamela? <laughs> Is that Pamela over there? Mm-hmm. I know she watching. <laughs> I actually have a wig called Pamela, so when I put uh, her on, y'all, if you know my mama, you know that uh, she was definitely the inspiration for the Pamela wig. So that was Scarlet and Brown. Next, we have Latanya, okay? Latanya is $390, and she is being um, dropped to $200. Latanya is made with Indian hair. Um, that's why she's a little costly as well. And this Indian hair was deep wave. So we're gonna pop Latanya on. And I colored it um this copper color. You guys may have seen this in my Halloween videos when I did the pumpkin look. And all of that. And this wig, the color is just, woo! The color is just everything. Oh, yeah. She said you do look like her. <laughs> <laughs> the color on this baby is just everything, okay? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is Latonya, okay? You already put on this one? Uh-huh. This is Latanya, and she is 200, and she is cut into a bob. Okay, that's how you got to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Jarell laughing at me, y'all. <laughs> so, this is Latanya, okay? The next one is green. She is Nicole, okay? You guys probably seen her in one of the Halloween videos as well. She is 360 and she is going for 200 as well. And this is Nicole. She also has a closure. Ooh, my stomach is growling. So it's the closure, but I have a side part on it. This hair started out black, but with some little um, color magic, okay, we got this kind of blue-green mermaid situation, and I love it. She is also in a bob. All right. And with the bobs, you can, um, of course, recut it or you can turn it to the side a little bit to make it asymmetrical. It's a lot of different things that you can do with the bobs. So this one is Nicole, okay? And you put Nicole on when you want to be a little sassy, okay? Nicole will look good with a nice leather jacket or some, some leather leggings, you know? You got to have on some glitter eyeshadow when you wear Nicole, okay? Nicole, you got to show out when you got Nicole on, okay? You like Nicole? Who are you looking at? <laughs> you like Nicole Jarrell? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I like this one. Yes, look at that. Now, she yeah. been in the bag for a minute. I would probably say this one is probably one of my favorites. For real? Yeah. Why? I just like the color. It's just clean. I don't know. Nicole still popping. I come out <laughs> Nicole come out the bag with body. Okay. So that's Nicole, y'all. The next one is called Madison. Come on now. This light, I'm telling you, this light keep trying to turn up. Yeah, this light like acting on its own. Yeah. Woo, it's bright. You wanna turn this off? Huh? This well, I guess if you turn this light off. Do you turn it off and see. Can y'all see me? Okay. This is how I film when I do my makeup. Yeah. But turn that light back on. Yeah, it's a little too bright. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, so next we're going to Madison. 
Now Madison, um, Madison is 400, but she is being marked 50% off. So she is going to be 200. All right. Now Madison, this is a lot of hair. Okay. <laughs> so kinky street. Uh, yeah, look at you. You know your textures. Okay. So Madison is just beautiful, y'all. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Madison. She is doing, let me get a bigger comment because this is a lot of hair. <laughs> so Madison is a frontal. She's a frontal unit. And it is a lot of hair, but you can definitely flat iron it, press it out. If you flat iron it, it'll probably look more like the yakky straight. But look, nice. look at her. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is what my hair look like um, if I just wash it and let it air dry. So these textures are like really natural looking. Look like it can really be your hair. Of course, it's the frontal, so you can part it through there. I like to do like a little braid on the side and stuff. Have like a little braid on the side. So this is Madison, okay? The next one is, what's her name? All right, we got... Uh, Serena, she is 420, and today she is 210. Serena, I already got a little braid in the side, so y'all will get to see how I do that. This is a Peruvian, huh? This Peruvian here or Brazilian? Hair. Um, Serena is, yep, Peruvian deep wave. Yeah, I knew it was Peruvian here, but I couldn't remember if it was body wave or deep wave. See, you be real, be knowing y'all. Jarell be knowing what what um what the hair ministry be doing. <laughs> so as you see here, I got this little braid on the side. Yeah, I like that. Y'all can't tell me this. Y'all can't yeah, tell me cool. this a wig. Nice. This ain't no wig. <laughs> this my hair, okay? <laughs> Very nice. I, I think she was talking about Madison. Oh, which one, Madison? So um. Yeah. Wig wear. Okay, this is my hair. Okay, look how look how this hair laying down on the side. This is my hair. Okay, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> she is two ten. Okay, she was colored. All of that is Peruvian deep wave. Look at her. That's cute. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> Next, we have Pamela, all right? Pamela. So, Pamela was 380, and she is going to be 200. Pamela has a little braid on the side, too. <laughs> so, if y'all know my mama, she always wear... A color similar to this. That's how she got her name, Pamela. So, yeah. She talking. Look at Jarell. You like this one, too? Mm-hmm. It's nice. Okay, Pamela. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at, Mama? You on here watching? So this is Pamela. Okay, this is one of my mama's favorite hair colors. Look at her to my yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nope. This ring light is shining. The ring light that could. <laughs> <laughs> it just keep trying to shine. So this is Pamela, y'all. Okay, the texture of Pamela, she is Peruvian loose wave, okay? 
So that's why she has this nice little loose curl to her. Okay. So this is Pamela. The next wig I'm about to put on. I haven't put this wig on. Woo! The name of this wig. Woo! About to fall. <laughs> <laughs> the name. That's, that's how long it's been since I put this wig on. Okay? This wig is called Wedding. Alright? I wore this wig on September the 12th. 2015 okay so we about to see what she look like look at that nicely done <laughs> i know it's so stretched out this is a throwback for real ooh, ooh. oh my goodness of course on my wedding day she was curled and all that but this is the natural texture so it's a loose wig yeah, what she say on the bag? Uh-uh. Don't Brazil. They don't even say. Don't say anything. Uh, but I know it's loose wig. I made this wig before I started working with Maven. Oh, uh, okay. So this wig, this is an OG. <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary wig, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, oh. Uh, when I tell y'all, I, I done pulled the wigs out, okay? I wore this on my wedding day, y'all. She she worth a thousand just for coming down the aisle with me, okay? <laughs> but um, <laughs> she was 300 and she's going to be 200 all right? So, what she say? They need to be free. Since, Since it's 2015, 2015. Uh, <laughs> she was that old. <laughs> so, um, this beauty, oh, she went down the aisle with me. She look cute right now. She got a little, a little sassy look. A little rock well, star. I know. Yeah. That's how I feel like a rock star with her on right now. Yes, okay. <laughs> like a Tina Turner. Yes, Tina. We roll, roll. <laughs> Okay, so this is the wedding wig, okay? Jarrell said I look like Tina Turner. All right, um, the next three wigs I did not make. They are Maven wigs, which is where uh, most of the hair came from. So on my Maven site, if getting a custom wig made, you feel like um, it's too expensive for you, which it is um because i take your head measurements all of that and make the wig custom for you so if you feel like um that that does not fit in your budget we do have factory made wigs on my maven site so when you go to my website um it's the wrap .com, when you go to that website click on um the hair extensions and it's going to take you to the Maven website, okay? Now, these three wigs, I did a review on them for my YouTube channel. So, if you are not subscribed to It's a Wrap on YouTube, definitely subscribe, all right? So, this first wig, um, this is Malaysian Body Wave, and it's in 12 inches. So, on the Maven site, it is $335.99 which is not bad at all. It is a lace front. So you get that lace from ear to ear, okay? Um, with the custom option, you do get more lace, all right? So if you just starting out, you know, trying to get your feet wet, you know, you know, you just signing up for the wig ministry, then this would be a good, you know, option for you. So um, this one is gonna be 120. And as you can see, we have the um, the Maven um, tags and stuff on the inside. So I'm going to put this one on. And it is 12 inches. And I did do a uh, video for this one on my YouTube channel. All right. So I got her on. And look how the lace is looking looking good just 
comb through it. Of course, I have it in the side part because that's how I did it in the video. But you can really part it um, anywhere. You can do a half up, half down, anything like that, any kind of style like that. Oh, let me turn this light back on. Got to keep that one and wear on your 50th. <laughs> I will not be wearing her on the 50th. On the 50th, I'm going to have some hair way down my back. All right. So, um, this is what she looks like. And you can just see it so much better with the light. With the light on like that. We're going to, if the light starts passing out again, we're going to have to turn it off again. <laughs> but, um, this one is the Malaysian Body Wave. You can go purchase this from the website um right now we have it in multiple uh lengths so this one is the 12 inch all right and it stops about right here so this is beginner friendly all right the next one is from the ready to wear collection now the ready to wear collection ready to wear means when you put it on it's going to be in a certain style. So this one is um, the Malaysian Body Waves side part in the color 2. She's called Lavish Lola. And when they say side part, that's what you're getting, a side part. Okay, it ain't no part where you want a part. So um, when you're shopping for wigs, you want to make sure that if you want to do a middle side um up down a little braid and all that that you get a lace front if you get one that says side part or middle part only then you're going to just have the lace where the part is so let's put her on you all right mm -hmm. what's going on with your hair okay so look at her she's cute so if you don't do any baby hair if you don't uh glue it down spritz it down got to be gel or anything like that this is what it will look like you don't have to do any of those things You don't have to lay the baby hair and all that if you don't want to. So this is Lavish Lola on the site um, for this length, which is 15 inches. She is listed for $155.99. So um, I will let her go for $150. And the other one um, from Maven. This one is the Brazilian Deep Wave. Now, this is one of my favorites because it's curly. I love curly hair, as y'all saw the wig I came out in. But this one is just, oh, it's just so nice. I just love it. This one is the 16 inches. So, we have it in multiple lengths. On the site, it's $170.99. But I will let this one go for 150 And look at her, okay? Yes. She is giving this. She just giving it. So you could lay your baby hair down, have it looking like this, your hair from the womb. Or you can just pop it on and wear it like this. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I love it. This is one of my favorites. And that's one of the factory ones? Uh-huh. This is one of the Maven ones. This is the 16 inches, okay? That's so, nice. typically, if I would wear one of the Maven wigs, I would wear this one because I just love it. It's very soft and just uh, everything you want in some hair. So that is this one, okay? And she's going for 150. All right. She also has a frontal on it. So we have that lace 
all the way around. She said, now nah, that just make me mad on how we look so real from the scat. <laughs> yep. And then it's off. Okay. So I love wigs, y'all. Um, you can just take care of your hair. Keep it put away. You don't want to, um, you know, keep your hands in it, pulling and tugging on it and stuff. Sometimes your hair need a break, okay? And wigs just save it, okay? Um, a lot of people feel like wigs damage the hair. And just like with heat, heat is not the enemy. Wigs are not the enemy. It's about how you use it, okay? So if you are putting your wig on every day, with um lace glue um and you ripping it off your head you're not using the the proper solution to loosen up the lace glue you know what i'm saying different things like that that people do and they say that the wig the wig took their hair out when no no you was impatient. You were working with your hair. Remember what I said earlier? You got to work with your hair with love and care. When you go in and just start ripping wigs off, just ripping braids out, just ripping through your hair, detangling, uh-uh, that ain't going to work. So as you can see, this is the wig that I had on when I came out. And if I laid the baby hair down, it would look like like i grew this okay but um i'm just gonna throw it on because most of most of y'all watching y'all probably not gonna lay the lay the baby hair and do all that y'all just gonna throw the wig on so this how it's looking by just throwing it on look how good that look okay this wig has a lot of hair in it um the longest length is 22 inches and I lifted it to this color like this. And I dipped it in some red color to get it to be this luscious color here, okay? So I love this one. This one is not listed. Y'all can buy all of these wigs, but this one, I have to keep this one, okay? So... If I was going to lay down my baby hair, let me show you guys what I will use. So these will be on my site, okay? They're actually already on there. Um, these two are a two-in-one. We have the brush on this side and the comb on this side. Let me show y'all. And I have these in black and in pink, okay? So this is the two-in-one. Now... This is launch day, okay? This one was added. This is a three-in-one, okay? So we have the brush and the comb on one side. So because um, with the older version, and some people still like this version, so I still have these available. You know, you brush the baby hair, then you flip it, then you comb the baby hair. With the three-in-one, you brush and comb, okay? So it's a little bit... Um, more convenient to have the brush and the comb on the same side and on this side we have a little spatula so you can get in there and lay that gel that um adhesive whatever you're using for your wigs you can just go in and lay that with this little spatula side so that's why i am introducing the three-in-one today your wigs are beautiful Better looking than some celebrity red. Yes, okay, tell them to call me, okay? It's the wrap, okay? So, um, these are my edge brushes that I have. I also have some It's the wrap makeup brushes. Y'all know I love to blend my foundation out with a good old Kabuki brush, okay? Now, the Kabuki brush, we have that flat top, okay? And when you press that in the face, it's going to make that foundation just blend in effortlessly, okay? You can use these with liquid, cream, powder, whatever kind of foundation you like. The gold brush is a little bit denser than the silver. 
So um, both of these are on the site. And I have um, one with a rose gold. That one is going to be restocked soon. So you won't see that one on there, but it will be um, restocked soon. All right. So um, if you watched the makeup video earlier today, I have on some of my lashes. The style that I have on right now is fierce. So I'm going to show you guys my six styles. Okay. So I have six lash styles in my collection. And I'm always looking um, to expand. If I see something that catches my eye, it might just be added. Okay. So first off, we have the lash tool. Okay. Now, um, these are my lash tweezers. I love these. If you struggle with applying lashes, it's because you don't have this. Okay. Now, look at how it is curved. Let me turn this off. Look at how it's curved there. All right. So this curve is going to match the curve of your eye. Okay. So the same way that the lashes are in the case, in that curve, you want to hold them with the lash tweezers in that same curve. And when you sit it up there, it's over with. It's, it's on there. Okay. Okay. So, if you missed the video this morning of me doing my makeup, definitely check that out because I used these to put these lashes on and I showed you guys how easy it was, okay? So, now let's get into these lashes, okay? So, this is passionate, okay? Passionate, all right? And the names of these lashes, just like the names of all of my products and things, are characteristics of um, myself, people I know, all of that. I like to channel all of that in when I'm naming all of my products. So these are passionate, all right? Next, we have Assertive, and Assertive is one of my best sellers. I love Assertive. I wear Assertive all of the time, okay? And assertive, just, just do what you need immediately, okay? Next, we have um, Courageous. Courageous is one of the newest added to the line. And Courageous, I mean, you have to be bold to wear these, okay? They just, ta-da, you know, they coming for you, okay? So these are Courageous. Next, we have Fierce, which is what I have on right now. Fierce, okay. So, these are Fierce, all right. Then we have, okay, if I do not drop it, we have Dramatic, all right. And all of these, you know, depending on how you feel that day, you might go for a different lash. If you're feeling dramatic, you might want to grab these, all right? If you're feeling ambitious, which is the sixth one, you might want to go for these, okay? Now, with my lashes, a lot of them have the wispy edges. And um, I'm the type of person, I like to have options, okay? I like versatility. So what I like to do, I like to wear my lashes um nice and wispy sometime like this or if i want to have a nice bolder look i will go in with some mascara when you put that mascara on your lashes it's gonna make them <laughs> they gonna talk okay so the lashes that i have on right now i have on um fierce and I added mascara on them. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. So adding the mascara is going to make them look a little bit more um, thicker and fuller. All right. So those are the It's a Wrap 3D Mink Lashes. All right. So Jarrell, you can come on out. Show everybody your hair. Got gotcha. you. Ooh. Frederick Douglass going on. Not Frederick. <laughs> Woo, look at 
about his hair, y'all. So his hair has been um, air drying a little bit. So what we typically do, we blow dry it. I'll use like a paddle brush and blow him out. And then we'll go in with a braided style or um, we'll press it out. Like if we're about to trim it or something like that, we'll press it out. Or if he just want to wear it in a ponytail and look like, what's your student say? Trinidad James. Trinidad, Snoop Dogg. Trinidad James, Snoop Dogg. All these things he get when he wears his hair pressed out. But um, he used to wear an afro with a little a band um, so he could have a pushback. He wore it like that for a while. But the longer and the bigger it got, he started to wear in braids. So um, that might be how we do it. Um, first, I'm going to blow it out and all that kind of stuff. But um, I'm not going to do all of that on camera because I know y'all probably tired, okay? I done had y'all all day. This this lunch day, I done wore y'all out today. So um, I'm going to finish him up off camera. But I really hope you guys enjoyed um, this big relaunch. Um, the first time I launched my products, I did a video talking about the product, but since then, a lot has changed. Mm -hmm. um, the, for example, the whole name, <laughs> the name has changed. Yeah. So um, with changing the name, I rebranded and re-put everything out there. But it felt like a great time to just do a relaunch so that I can re- just tell you guys everything about the products to really get that out there again. Love y'all too. With it being a new name. Mm -hmm. Beautiful presentation. Oh, we love y'all too. We love y'all too. So um, I definitely wanted to do the relaunch just to get It's a Wrap out there again. As It's a Wrap, um, God gave me the name It's a Wrap like Easter time uh, two years ago. So this relaunch is way overdue. But um, it's a wrap. It's, you hear that when you um, say something is finished. And the scripture, of course, is John um, 1930 on the cross when Jesus said, you know, it is finished, okay? To and finish that. Yes. And when he said that, it was done. Like, who is that that say, is we finished or is we done? <laughs> <laughs> so in that moment, it was finished. It was done. It was all of that. And to me, when it comes to beauty, like he already made us in his image, right? So we are already beautiful. But what we have to do is walk in that beauty that he created us to be. So when you come to It's a Wrap, when I say I help you achieve your finished look, I am helping you walk in that beauty that he already gave you when he said it is finished, okay? That salvation that he gave you, all of that, when he said it is finished, that's what It's a Wrap means, okay? So we are walking in the beauty that he gave us when he um, created us in his own image. He already gave us the beauty then, but we just got to walk in it, okay? So, that's what It's a Wrap is, y'all. I feel like I'm about to preach for y'all today, but we, we ain't here to do that, okay? <laughs> so, when I say It's a Wrap, that's it, okay? It's done, okay? You are who he called you to be. You are who he said you are. It's finished, okay? It don't matter. They bring the tires to the storehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we about to pass the collection plate around. It is finished, okay? You are already who he say you are. You are already his crown, beautiful daughter, okay? So let's just walk it out, okay? Let's just do it, because it's, it's finished, okay? It's done, okay? I'm going to keep clapping this till y'all get it in y'all spirit. It's finished, okay? It's finished, yes, okay? All right. So, as y'all can see, um, I had a good time. Great time today um, doing all of this. You had a good time. I know your scalp had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> good. 
So, um, huh? Sissy, my fro out. I know. Now we got to get this fro together, okay? Yes. So, um, thank you guys for tuning in for the morning portion and um this portion of the live and uh oh we got mother linda in the house yes come on come on okay we sure enough about to go up with mother linda in the house so uh we need to hurry up and get off of here for we um y'all know the i feel like the last time we was on the live together um oh well we did a couple of jewelry, jewelry lives yeah yeah. But um, the last live we did, what was that, for Valentine's Day yes. or something? Yeah. Where we sung for you guys and stuff like that. We definitely have to do that again. So um, y'all will be seeing us again um, doing some singing and some ministry and all that kind of stuff that God has, you know, created and blessed us to do. So um, definitely want to bring our gifts to you guys in that way. So, yeah, thank y'all for coming tonight. Um, definitely go to the website. You can go to itsarap.com. You can click on the wigs, click on the lashes, click on um, whatever you want, and it's going to take you to the site. Um, all of these wigs that I showed you guys tonight, I slashed those prices down. So those prices will be updated on um, the website. Everything else that I showed you guys, um, the prices and everything are already locked in for those. So I hope y'all have a blessed night. Mm -hmm. um, wonderful week. Okay, what's today? Saturday? Mm -hmm. um, today is May 1st. So I hope, uh, I just pray that God goes before everybody into um, the rest of May. And just go ahead and bless it. Okay, whatever you have waiting on your desk at work on monday i pray that god just goes before you and just already give you a piece about it already give mm -hmm. you an understanding about it mm -hmm. already um just just help you be prepared for um that test or that trial or whatever it is y'all know how monday can be so um i just pray that um that you're blessed and prepared and ready for that i hope y'all have an awesome night um y'all be blessed um this really blessed me i had so much fun um getting everything prepared and, and ready for this um it was um kind of rough trying to get everything in order but actually being here with you guys and talking and laughing it was just so much fun and i really enjoyed it and of course i enjoy it um y'all know Jarrell keep me laughing anyway <laughs> So, <laughs> so, um, uh, I had a great time y'all, but, um, definitely check the website out. If you are not liking and following the Instagram beauty page, go ahead and do that. I don't know what y'all waiting for. If y'all are not subscribed to the YouTube channel, it's a wrap. Go ahead, subscribe. Okay. Hit yeah. that notification bell. All right. If y'all are not subscribed to chilling with the Chisholms go ahead and do that we ain't really been putting nothing over there but we're gonna do better so go <laughs> ahead and subscribe to chilling with the chisms okay we also have a chilling with the chisms page go like and follow that page go follow jarell's business page chism audio okay where he got the smooth sounds okay the jazz the popping lock drop whatever you need he got it over there okay if you need some music to just worship and labor for the lord he got that kind of music too so go on over to chisholm audio like his page as well of course if you like all of the bling okay what you say we got uh bling necklaces and rings some slogan Jarrell made up <laughs> What you say? Oh, uh, if you like bling, we got everything plus rings. Okay. I think that's what it was. If you like bling, we got everything plus rings. Okay. So go on over to the Instagram accessories page. Like that page. Okay. Um <laughs> Woo. Just go. Just go to Instagram. Just type Instagram in, okay? It's a one stop shop. It's a wrap. What you what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do that. Some yes, like that. my we little my little brother um made the Insta rap theme song. You guys will see that on my YouTube 
um channel. So I wish I had it so I could play it right now. Right. But um definitely go check It's a Wrap out on all platforms. We're on um Instagram as well as uh at it's uh, underscore Sarap. Also on TikTok, okay. I haven't gotten Jarrell on TikTok yet, but we're gonna do some TikToks and stuff for y'all, okay? <laughs> Am I saying that right? Yeah, TikTok. TikTok yeah. Look, y'all, I'll be 30 uh this year, so I'm trying to make sure I'm still hip and everything. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to, you know, I got to get on TikTok so I can stay current with all the kids and stuff. <laughs> That's how I feel. It is how I feel. But, um, okay, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. But y'all have a blessed night. My stomach growling. So, my stomach said, it's time to stop. <laughs> it said, please stop. <laughs> so, um, y'all have a blessed night. I didn't tell y'all to have a blessed night 30 times. So, y'all night is about to be blessed to the maximum, okay? <laughs> So, for the last time, y'all have a blessed night, and we will see you guys um the next time you, um, I <laughs> just say you are that old. We will see you guys the next time we get on here and act a fool, okay? Which hopefully will be soon, all right? All right just don't put no more Walmart bags on me. Oh, just... Lord. <laughs> That Walmart bag, the condition of yeah, many your head. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, y'all, y'all play about that Walmart bag. That Walmart bag then condition some some souls, okay? So don't sleep on the Walmart bag. It also got me through the self checkout. Oh, That's all I'm oh saying. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's so silly. <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, you wanna um take us out of here? Nah, you got it. You got I done clapped it so many times, all right. Well, um, Thank you guys for coming. And uh, it's a wrap. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.